This is amazing. This is just fog. And the forest is like alive right now. I've been hearing so much, so many different sounds and it feels like all the animals are here, which is just so cool. Like, I mean, it's like a Hollywood, Hollywood, it's like a Halloween movie, but like, not really, mainly because I'm not scared. This isn't what I'm supposed to be talking about. I'm supposed to be talking about chupacabras, but I'm just amazed about this wonderful woods and the fog. Like, there's a road right there, and when it's not foggy, you can see the road and you can see all the cars very clearly. Okay. <clears throat> Chupacabras. Like last time we talked about Mothman. You know, it's a fairly recent cryptid that's shown up. Like it's from the 60s. But the Chupacabra is from the mid 90s. So it's extremely recent. The chupacabra originated in Puerto Rico in the mid-90s after a lot of livestock and especially goats had been like killed or drained of its blood. And the sightings described the creature as a, a creature who stood on two legs, like three or four feet tall with spikes down its back, like almost reptilian. And it was later named the Chupacabra, which really means like goat sucking or something like that. There were so many animals killed that the, the mayor actually gathered people which this is very political because it was election time and well but he gathered a lot of people and went on the hunt for this this creature <laughs> with a huge cross i mean i find it funny but i can certainly get the hysteria behind that since so many animals died and people left their homes and children were escorted to school I, I get why um, this would turn political so later later it gained traction in the media it was the mid 90s so technology and newspapers it was more readily available well, okay newspapers isn't that <laughs> high tech but you get my drift it's a lot easier to spread news like it spread and people reportedly saw this creature from Maine in the United States to Chile in South America <laughs> and I've seen people claiming there have been reports of the Chupacabra in like Russia and that's just from like the 90s It's kind of cool. However, <laughs> I have my thoughts and opinions about America, and I'm not gonna name, I'm not gonna list any of these here right now, at least. Um, but w <laughs> it feels like I got the feeling, at least, that when the story moved its f central point to the United States of America. The creature changed from a really tall creature um, to um, like a dog <laughs> without any fur. Um, and people have claimed to find the bodies. It's not just sightings, but at the same time. <laughs> They have DNA tested these creatures that has been shot and killed. And it's usually coyotes or 
a creature like that. And the reason why people are mistaking a coyote, which is fairly common, and people who live in rural places are quite familiar with the coyote. That's mainly because of scabies. But scabies is a term for when these little mites burrow under the skin of an animal or well, human. This usually results of the creature losing its fur and it's extremely itchy. So in desperation, these creatures gnaw or scratch until they become a bloody wound, wound filled hairless creatures, which you know, could look quite scary. It's not a pleasant sight. I'm gonna just tell you that. But th that is the chupacabra. Like, it <laughs> went from a three to four foot figure to a dog that people mistaken are mistakenly placing the chupacabra name to it. That said, there are many explanations to why so many livestock or animals uh, were killed and it's also due to the fact of the coyote because the coyote um, if if the creature is unexperienced or the the animal is too hard of a kill it just bites and you know it lets go leaving two dots on the neck and the creature or the animal could survive and then die of a hemorrhage leading people to think that you know it's a blood-sucking cryptid running around in our neighborhood this is scary I get it and and the thing is like when coyotes are this are so mangy what I've seen or heard at least they they don't know what else to do so they search for the easiest place to feed which is farms and therefore we have a lot of killings and a lot of sightings around farms so the best guess is a coyote or a creature similar to a coyote with mange looking for an easy kill and not getting it or you know it's it's quite sad actually but the possibility Puerto Rico is the home of United States military and also NASA, I believe. So there are questions. Is this just a top secret government project? Like the Mothman. That just... <clears throat> you know, escaped. And... There was a project... Of, when researching this, I, I saw it like once. So I'm not building a lot of theories around it. But I believe that the government facility were doing experiments on monkeys and it's possible that some of these monkeys escaped and went rampant. That is a possibility and I don't know if the experiments are true, I don't, don't know, like I have no stable background of that so don't come for me please. But most probably, it's it's just coyotes. We can always hope that there is a creature like the chupacabra. And many people believe that there are evidence that there are bodies from the this chupacabra. But not, at least not the original with spikes down its back and stuff like that. So thank you, thank you so much for watching, and uh, you know, like, comment, and 
subscribe.